Hello friends, in this video, we will see syllogism problems with three statements. Okay, so let us consider the given three syllogism statements are all apples are brinjals. And the second syllogism statement given is all brinjals are lady fingers. And the third statement given is Some lady fingers are oranges Okay And the first conclusion given is Some oranges are brinjals Second conclusion given is some brinjals or apples. Third conclusion given is some apples or oranges. And the fourth conclusion given is all lady fingers are apples so the options given is only 4 is true and option B given is either 1 or 3 only And option C given is all are true and option D is only 1 and 3 ok and option E is given none of this ok none of this so from here what we can derive is all apples are brinjals so from this alone we can derive so when we interchange brinjals and apples so then all will become some so that means here we get some brinjals or apples so when some is there brinjals and apples are there if some brinjals are apples then some apples are also brinjals so that means if sum is there and you can interchange the subject and the predicate so from this one I am I'm deriving that some apples so are brinjals ok again from this one all brinjals are lady fingers so that means when I interchange brinjals and lady fingers this all will become some so that means some lady fingers are brinjals Again from this one, I can derive, I can interchange lady fingers and brinjals because here is some syllogism, right? So that means from this one I can derive some brinjals or lady fingers. Okay, some brinjals are lady fingers. So from the third one, some lady fingers are oranges. So that means uh, I can interchange oranges and lady fingers right? from this third statement. Some oranges are lady fingers. Okay. So now come to the first two statements alone. All apples are brinjals, all brinjals are lady fingers. If you see here, the predicate of the first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one. And both are all or. So, according to the rule of uh, all plus all is equal to all. What I explained in the first video in this uh, playlist. Okay. So, this one from these two, we will get all apples are lady fingers. All apples are lady fingers. So, here lady fingers, lady fingers are there. So, first one is starting with all and second one is starting with. So all plus some. So we cannot derive anything from 
this one according to the syllogism rules okay so whenever our apples are lady fingers so we can from this one we can derive that i mean interchanging apples and lady fingers then all will become sum so sum lady fingers are apples so again here sum is there so we can interchange apples and lady fingers right so that means sum apples are lady fingers so we derived all, all the possible conclusions from the given three so now we'll compare all of them uh, with the given conclusion okay sum oranges are brinjols okay so where is the sum oranges are lady fingers okay and uh, only oranges that one there that sum oranges are lady fingers but here it is given sum oranges are brinjols So this one is some brinjals are apples, some brinjals are apples. So it was the, the second one is matching with the first derivation. Some brinjals are apples. So this one is two. And third one, some apples are oranges. So here some apples are lady fingers, and some apples are lady fingers. All apples are lady fingers, and some apples are brinjals. Okay. So some apples are oranges are not there. So this one is false. All lady fingers are apples, so there are there is only one all statement, so that we say all apples are lady fingers. But here the first is there, so all lady fingers are apples. So this is also false. So only the second conclusion is true. Only the second conclusion is true. But here, if you see all the options, this is both this one false, another one is false. This one is also false. All true. This one is false. Only one and three is true, so this one is also false. So none of these options, right? Only the second statement, uh, only the second given conclusion is true. So this one is not in the option, so we have to select option E. None of E, none of these. Okay. So I hope uh, you got this one. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video, and please subscribe my channel.